Another beautiful day. You thought I was the radio DJ for a minute, didn't you? This is one of the most scenic routes across Minnesota. I don't think I'm gonna be able to see much of it. In Japan, Japanese bands, when they're done with the song, they say, Hi! I really like that beat. It's so clear and concise. Traveling's almost become a job. I think I just need a good change of scenery. I'm try tired of this uh, northeast hardwood forest. I need some wide open spaces. That's all. And some sunshine. Good radio station, though, huh? If you use electricity, there's about a 50% chance that you depend on coal. But there's a whole lot less percentage of a chance that you know anything about how it's mined. Except here. I don't know why this is called a scenic As drive. In East Jardinia, writer in residence at West Virginia State ugly, University. Ugly, but it's just lined with trees for 60 odd Virginia miles. Is a national I'm trying to be area. happy. I gotta be happy. Cool miners job I'm on the road, I'm doing what I want to do. Yes, they make good money these days. But poverty is not I'm just... I'm tired of this weather, weather, though. This is not it's also a lack middle of, of June. This feels like... Mines, miners, and mine owners... Late October. Judged as it's really hard for me to stick to the plan. When the weather's like this, I, it makes me, I was just looking at my map at the gas station for 10 minutes probably trying to figure out, you know, I had this route planned out up through northern Minnesota and up to the top of North Dakota and then straight down the middle of the Dakotas into the Badlands. That's the route I'm sticking to, but I was just about to change my mind and just head straight for the Badlands go, you know, push it out a couple hundred miles a day across Minnesota and South Dakota to get over to, just because I want to get somewhere where there's a little bit more wide open space and the sun's shining and the weather's nice. And the East Coast, there's a lot of people out here. I still feel like I'm on the East Coast, even though I'm way up in Minnesota, which is probably the country for anybody on the East Coast. But it's just flat. And I miss mountains. And I miss big pine trees. I'm starting to see some big pine trees. That's nice. But uh, yeah. that's what I was going to tell you. The weather makes me crazy. Like I've been telling you for the past couple of days. I need it to go away. I want to feel like I'm out there, you know, in the wilderness. Out there. No man's land. Right now I don't. The end of a thousand the lakes. Of comes from NPR member stations and... Who was the last president we had who was a viable ass kicker anyway?
working on 200 miles of driving. I don't remember. I haven't. I don't know if I've ever driven 200 miles in the whole entire trip in one day. Usually I do 40, 50, 60 miles. But the weather sucks. The scenery is not great. And Minnesota is a big old state, so I'm just plowing on through. I worry about the car on these days because I know it's not good to put hundreds and hundreds of miles on a car in one day, especially an old car. But it's still going. Hopefully I'm not doing it too much damage. Gotta find a spot to pull over for the night one of these days. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing today. I, I'm kind of burnt on these, uh, you know, my Randy McNally, Randy McNally, Roadmap Atlas, has all these little dotted, highlighted, yellow, green roads, they're supposed to be the most scenic roads of the state, this is kind of what they look like. This is what the scenic roads across Minnesota look like. And granted, there's some nice trees along the side of them, but... Nothing like driving across the Colorado Rockies. I don't know, I guess from one border to the other, being the Canada, Canada, Canada border, the Canada border to the Mexican border. There's a section of this country that is long and flat and straight. And that's it. Doesn't matter if you're up in Minnesota, somewhere in Iowa, Kansas, Missouri. When I did this on my way over, the East Coast. I did it along the Gulf of Mexico, which was, I think, a bit more entertaining than being up here along the Canadian border. The, the Gulf of Mexico was much more desolate, much more variety of people and business agriculture, the shrimping industry. And they got New Orleans and Biloxi and go through Mississippi and all the different southern up here, it's not very exciting. Not very exciting at all. The cruise control is not working either. Oh. <sighs> For some reason, I thought there were more mountains in the east, but there ain't. There just isn't. Bye. Sheriff drove by. I thought I was getting myself a fishing ticket. But I didn't. Did you see that giant fish jump out there? Nora did. <laughs> She's that was at least a 15 pound fish. I heard one even bigger jump over here. 
The one that jumped over here must have been 40 pounds. Big old walleye. That right there is Minnesota. Minnesota shoreline. I don't know the name of this body of water or river. And that over there is Canada. Canada and Minnesota divided by a bunch of giant walleye. I wonder if that bird's a Canadian or an American. If it wasn't for that wildlife, I'd see a lot more of that wildlife. But that's okay. Oh, fish. Missed it. It's a fishing dog. She's checking the end of the pole. <laughs> All I gotta do is teach her to bark when the pole starts to move. Then I can go sit and have a beer and make dinner. Forgot to press the record button. I hate that. I hate that. No, I'm not mad at you, Nora. Okay, thank you for the kiss. Turned out to be a good day. I finally settled into a good day. I got this nice free campsite by the river. I got some bug spray from a young park service kid that I talked to for a while this afternoon. Minnesota native. Talked about fishing, and the river, and life outdoors, and what we liked about the outdoors, and what we didn't like about the outdoors. Pretty much what we liked about the outdoors. That's Canada over there, by the way. That shoreline right there, Canada. And, yeah, nice and relaxed, feeling good. I don't know what my problem was yesterday, but I think maybe uh, the road's just getting to me. Look at that big old mosquito. Can you see him flying around the windshield? Full of blood. Nora's blood or my blood. Punk, punk, punk. Time for me to shut up.